So we're often asked in NVH, what's the typical configuration for noise and vibration setup? Well, we've got it here, and I'd recommend this as your first test every time we're going to do an NVH test. That is a three axis accelerometer. We see it connected here, A, B, C to X, Y, Z, and the accelerometer placed on the seat frame, seat bolt, or wherever the customer is complaining of vibration. And then always have a microphone set on channel D. The beauty of the microphone is that you can narrate your road test, but also it gives you the entire spe spectrum when it comes to measurement. So we'll have uh, zero to 300 hertz with the accelerometer, and then we on 300 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, we'll have the entire frequency captured. Now, the real beauty of this test is you will capture the offending frequency, the amplitude, and also the axis. So in this scenario, let's say that we've been on road test and we have a strong vibration in the Y axis. This is the vertical. Well, we'll take away channels B and C and we will keep channel Y on here, sorry, on the um, interface. So this is channel A connected now to channel Y measuring just the vertical vibration, but still inside the cabin. Remember during the three axis road test, we had an offending Y axis vibration. So now we'll just choose to measure the Y axis. This has now given us two free channels where we can connect two more interfaces measuring just the vertical axis. There we are on channel C. Same again on channel B. And these can now be located at different points around the vehicle. And we retain the microphone inside the cabin, remember, for narration. And also, if our frequency is just on the cusp or just beyond 300 hertz. So there now you have multiple sensor mode. The advantages are four sensors. This is measuring the vibration inside the cabin. And these are measuring the y-axis, the vertical vibration at other points on the vehicle. One point to remember, make sure you mount the accelerometer vertically if you're measuring the vertical axis.